Now, in other news, with Israel's Ben Gurion airport shuttered and with no hard date to reopen, Israelis who traveled abroad before the shutdown have been stranded with no way home. Hi, my name is Hannah Friedland. I've lived in, lived in Israel for two and a half years. I moved from Chicago, and I'm currently in Chicago visiting my family after the death of my grandmother. I need to return to Israel to take care of my dog and take my medication that I take every single day. Please let me come home. My name is Robert Mickley. I made Elia with my wife and five children in 2019. I'm a dental surgeon. I work both in New York and Jerusalem. I am right now in New York trying to get home to my family and my patients in Israel. Since traveling in June, I have been tested over 30 times. I've been negative every time. I received both vaccinations in Israel over two weeks ago, and I pose no risk of bringing this virus back to Israel. Please let me come home. Well, a petition to rescue these Israelis and many more like them has now been submitted to the High Court. And joining me with more is former Yeshatid Knesset member and co-author of the petition, Rabbi Dov Lipman. Rabbi, thanks for being with us. Now, how did this issue catch your attention? Essentially, starting last week, I was bombarded, uh, but with English-speaking olim who have seen me since my time in the Knesset as someone who helps them with governmental affairs, and they were telling me their stories and how they're stuck. And I realized that while I'm a super advocate for rules to help prevent the spread of coronavirus, uh, our leaders, excuse the expression, have lost their minds uh, when it comes to this issue as citizens of Israel who traveled legally abroad for good reasons are not allowed to come back to their homes. And that led to the gathering together of the idea for petitioning the Supreme Court to, to prevent the government from continuing with this policy, which is literally ruining people's lives and not doing anything in, in our efforts in terms of the coronavirus, because these people will go to quarantine, they'll be tested, they're law-abiding citizens, and we have to put this to a stop. I mean, I saw, I saw in the video that, uh, that we posted earlier, it extends, obviously, we saw several people who didn't want to leave but left for urgent matters, people who have missed their vaccination appointments because they're stuck abroad, surgeons with patients waiting, parents who've been separated from their families with no income uh, coming in, you know, all with negative tests, meanwhile, but not, will, not able to come to Israel. Now, you submitted a petition to the court today with former Blue and White Knesset member Michal kotler Wunsch. Can you tell us about the petition itself? Sure, it actually originated with an Israeli attorney named Nadav Ha'etzni, who he himself is stuck in the outside of Israel. I can't get back in to run his practice. And we joined together. I, I could have gotten many more, but we have 50 English stick no limb who joined the petition. And we basically saying to the court is that it's a basic right of a citizen to be able to return home as long as they've followed all the rules of the country. And I want to emphasize, Aaron, it's been so hard for me. I'm taking these phone calls and these messages while right across the street from me, I hear ultra Orthodox schools that are running fully. I see people that are walking without masks. Uh, there are mass gatherings. The country should focus its energies on stopping the spread of this virus within the country with rules that are in place and can be enforced instead of just sort of feeling good about themselves because they've made this massive closure. Uh, these people need to come home, and that's why we put together that video, and we are lobbying government representatives and the Supreme Court to make that happen. Well, and, and have you heard anything back yet? When we speak with government officials, it, it's been shocking to me, actually, in talking to ministers, there's this wall that's been put up. They did create a, 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 a scenario that people can submit on a link and make a request, and they have humanitarian criteria. Uh, I'll just give you one example. There's a doctor who has cancer patients here who are waiting for him after he went to America to do cancer surgeries there, and they have not approved him as a humanitarian wow. need. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what the criteria is. So the mechanism is in place, but the system is not working. And that's why we're trying to generate as much noise about this issue so that as the country does fight against a very serious virus, they don't along the way hurt people and even hurt medical patients and lone soldiers and, and people who their only flaw is they went to bury their parents elsewhere uh, around the world. We have to make sure that while we fight corona, we also don't hurt other people's lives along the way while doing nothing to impact the fight against corona. All right, Rabbi Dov Lippmann, thank you so much, and good luck with this petition. Thank you so much, Aaron.